Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL semi-final. Oh my god, we started with a blitz. Never thought we'd come to this. We've got Singolo with his dwarves and Mankiz with his wood elves and in the booth with me is Kalon. Hello. Hello, Jim. Delighted to be here for the first of these uh, fantastic semi-finals. We've got... Oh, this is going to be a real belter. And the blitz, uh, I mean, he covered pretty well for it, did old Mankiz. But uh, Singolo is uh, going to be able to pop right in there. Jeez, it's a lovely kick for him, isn't it? Yeah, it is fella, a short kick blitz. That fella son block means, uh, yeah, this is going to be a pretty nice pickup here. Is he going to go for the pickup and dodge out? No, catch, then catch, it's a blitz. Oh, of course I catch. bet. Yeah. But we can go for a double GFI to protect the ball. It's lovely. Yeah, it totally does. One, no, he one. Cool. only goes for one. No. And he catches it. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Wow. Yeah, I guess he only needed one, didn't he? Yeah. Strange to see the wrestle not. Oh, it's frenzy. He couldn't possibly hit him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yep. And Here we go. Comes the wrestle. Yeah, tackle. here's the wrestle. The wrestler, lad. So, oh, and gets the power, which is nice, because uh, that could have been a bit of a shit game very quickly. Yeah. I wonder if that extra GFI would have helped, right? I think it did. I think, but I guess I can understand not going for it. That was a bit of a crazy scatter mine. Yeah, it was ridiculous scatter. Uh, gonna be pretty tricky to get at this. Well, he's got this move boy. Has to take the loner hit. So it does get him shoved a bit. So he can at least get the catcher through and get on. So it's a three plus pickup. Gotta re roll it, right? I have to re roll it, but he still has to get off this beard. Oh, and he does. Ooh, and he's gotta stop now. He, he doesn't have to stop. He doesn't have to stop, right? No. Maybe he had to do two more. Honestly. Mm, yes, maybe. Because he can block him off and then tackle, right? One, two, three, four GFIs. So if you've done two GFIs, like, I know you don't want to do it. Yeah. But maybe you just had to do it. Or maybe you just do them. Yeah. Um, yeah, so sorry this isn't live because um, because we were playing Five Idiots. And oh, he's got the chain as well. Wow. So yeah, we are on a replay. Yeah, this is, uh, this is actually much more straightforward than uh, he would have liked it to be. Oh, but that the fail there still blocked him. One, two, three, yeah. four. Double, no, double GFI. Yeah. So whichever way it does it, it's a double GFI. So you know, if he'd just done one GFI, like I just think he had to. Yeah. But it's the. I mean, it is just the catcher. So he's got two dice on him anyway. Uh, no real way to make it three dice. No. Well, this isn't uh, great for Mankiz. I know it's just a fucking loner, but it's numbers on the pitch, and after suffering a blitz... I mean, it's terrible for him if he, if he gets powered here and can't get the ball back. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Whoa. Whoa. Gets I think him. I would have, I think I would have hit from here just to, like, have a better... a better, uh, oh, a better screen, like, if he'd sidestep to here or something. He gets the mm -hmm. removal. Mm -hmm. And yep, there the ball's there, and now it's really hard. Oh god, there's an and yeah, of course he's based up completely because of the blitz. Yeah, yeah. So, yep, this okay. is very bad. Ooh, and he gets this door free as well. Yeah, go for your, go for it. run for your life, little man. Oh yeah, and that's a good point. Mankiz was the overdog, so he's overdogged a wizard. He has overdogged a wizard. Which is a great, great strategy, really, because how else are you gonna get yeah. the ball off that bludger? Um, He's given right. Singolo a bribe. So maybe it wasn't that great then. I guess Singolo would have scummed a wizard anyway. Like, if you're just giving him a wizard, it's not so good, is it? Ooh, but, did he take a, a reroll, maybe? Did he not only have two? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'd, have to look, I'd have to look it up again. Because he's got the leader, you see. So I think he only had two rosters. But it doesn't matter. So we'll find mm -hmm. out in a second. Oh, the Duble skulls. Well, we got some on the second try. Has to follow, has to pick it up, does pick it up, has side steps, so he's kind of safe, and then this guy falls over. Yeah. I mean, pretty safe apart from the instant 2D. <laughs> yeah, outside of that, <laughs> pretty safe. <laughs> apart from the instantly getting 2D. But yes, he is not going to get served. <laughs> he isn't going to get served, but he is going to get instantly 2D with Mighty Blow. So, not fantastic. And no, you can also hit him from here as well, so there's no good size yeah. to square. Yeah. Which is really nice. So Wait, he's not blitzing with him. him. Okay. Oh, that, that's odd. Was oh, it worried about the chain out or something? 
Mm. Worried about the, uh, the getting getting surfed himself? Yeah, I guess so. Because mm. I would have I would have stood him oh. up and bolted him. I mean, it doesn't make any difference, but I guess I guess he was thinking. Yeah, he'd rather have that guy there. It's interesting, though, isn't it? I didn't really think about it. Wow. Let's put a reason on me wrong. Oh, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause it. Yeah, sure. I'm going to pause it and think. Is there a better way, or is there a reason why he blitzed like is that instead of blitzing why? the other yeah. way? So he's here. And if you get a push... Like, because he's, he's here. Like, whatever happens, it's only if he follows, right? Like, that's the only thing, isn't it, is if you follow. So yep. you're hitting him here, and he might sidestep to there, and then it doesn't really matter if you've got a guy here or not. I guess he's closer. He could sidestep there, in and which just, case... You stay still, and it's still a 3-2 three, three, through. Yep. And he could go here. I tell you what it could in be, which is case... that if he was going to have to, if he was going to commit a reroll in it, he would rather have that guy standing in that square. Yes. So Yes, there you go, there you That's go. It. That's the one, and you've definitely got some stood there, and he's doing something, yeah. and this guy isn't doing anything, so yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that was definitely, so there you go, Singolo with the definitely technically correct player. Well, well it didn't done. really make a lot of difference, but it was still better, so there you go. Mm -hmm. But my instinct was to just stand him on Blitz. Obviously, mm. my instinct was wrong, so there you go. Mm. It's great uh, when you're watching a lad play a game and uh, it takes uh, two or three other lads uh, much longer than they had to uh, come up with the, the answer that they immediately went with. <laughs> well, we don't know if it's immediate or not, but, you know, and also, like, you just do things by intuition, don't you? Like, you do, it, of course. Yeah. So, you know, we did probably think about it Ooh. more than he did as well. <laughs> That's a tricky dodge. Oh, he, oh, he went straight, straight for the tree. Wow. Oh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's it's sure feed, right? Oh, no, it doesn't. No, but it's still it's still better to make the extra dodge, the, isn't it? The two two, I would have thought better. Although he wasn't dodging off tackle, so it yeah. wasn't as bad. But I would have rather to have saved the. I don't know. I guess with a three plus pickup, it's it's maybe it's it's probably close. Yeah. It's probably close enough that it doesn't really matter. Fair enough. Well. Well. Yep. <clears throat> It's looking pretty bad now, isn't it? It's looking pretty fucking horrendous, Jim. Yeah. He's out of reroll, so now even the wizard isn't isn't even very appealing. Mm -hmm. So now you might have to give up this half mm. and hope that you wizard for a counter score in the second half. Because uh, three players yeah. down. That's nice. And the old filthy woundy. Disgusting. Gets an old, uh, yeah. Gets an old removal on that fellow. Yep. Nice Just to throw the old filthy woundy at the end of the turn. I mean, it's fair enough, isn't it, right? There's no, th these yeah. ones are fine. What's yep. filthy is when you could have just given an assist, but you're too stupid to give an assist. <laughs> they're, they're the ones that rankle <laughs> me. Yeah, that, that, those ones definitely annoy me. Yeah. Just opening your turn with the, oh, I thought it was too nice because, you know, I got guard. <laughs> Didn't even base the ball. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Shocking. English. Ooh. What was the game? I mean, it's not over, is it? It's not over. Like, but it's it's not easy either. Mm -hmm. And not only is it not easy, it's really fucking hard. Because it's got so much time as well. You know, like, if this was turn six or whatever, then fair enough, you're probably getting out yeah. of nil-nil. But he's got so much time that he can get back centre and then get four turns to get forward, so... He can, yeah. Yeah, he's going to make this, you know, quite the fortress. He's gone full Vangabuzz here. A dwarf fortress, you might say. Indeed. Whoa, love it. A mega bunker. Mm. It's the mighty blow hit. I mean, you got to... I mean, he hasn't got many people without Mighty Blow, but <laughs> no, yeah. still. <laughs> yeah. Still, he got the Mighty Blow hit. Little Dwarf dodge, doesn't get it. I was going to say I'd have dodge this guy first, but this guy's better because he's got stand firm anyway, so it's yeah, like, exactly. it's totally better to dodge this guy first. 
yeah. and then leave him on because he can't. Because I thought like you know him following was bad. Obviously mm-hmm. he can't. Or chaining him out even, right? This could have been, yeah, exactly. if he didn't have stand firm, this would have been very bad. Mm-hmm. Ooh, speaking of stand firm. Well, hey. Doesn't get the tree free. <laughs> I suppose he can three do him now, though. Hmm. He doesn't get the tree free, but he has the free tree D. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> tree does nothing to him. Gets his little dodge away. Make it a little bit tricky for him to try to get some space and uh, dictate where the blitz is going to be. Mm, I think this is a bit too over committee though, because now you put in the guard, or in fact one of these guys from further behind, this guy from further like this is the see this is one where that was my initial thing, right? Was there, mm -hmm. and that's what he's done, and that's one of those things where you just do the intuitive thing, right? But probably what you should have done was brought this guy to here yeah, and the, blitz the this one, forward, so or all you, of those guys you know this yeah. one if you're going to blitz this one or whatever. But there you yeah. go, that was. Yeah, he's going to 3D the catcher. Pretty nice to be able to 3D a catcher. Bam. I think I would have uh, sidestepped to like. here? Here? Mm hmm. Just to have guard on the ball would have been pretty pretty useful. Just, just Yeah, I'd like to get in the way a bit more, right? Like here he's mm. not in the way, and like. here stops him going into that way, so he'd have to go past it, wouldn't he? So yeah, I think this was the mm -hmm. correct sidestep score. But again, you've only got 15 seconds, so... This is it, yeah. It's really tricky. And the guy he wants to blitz with has Frenzy, so... Oh, yeah. and is now based. Mm. Well... Can you get back in front a little bit? Yeah, you can. Ooh, that's not helping. But that does. Mm. Yeah, really nice. Don't take the stand firm, because the tree's, tree's rooted. And that gets rid of the tackle of all three, yeah. so that's really nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, something has to get in front, right? Oh yeah, you've got like just because their doors like three turns left, you can still you can still stop them. Yeah, maybe one for the four to both of them. I don't know. Oh, roll a one and die. Well. Classic, well, classic elf dodging. Three yep. cars. Oh mm -hmm. god, it's looking real bad for man kids. He's like only so turned six, and he does have a move six ball carrier. So, and he does have a wizard in hand. Yeah, but this is this is man drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's capped at eight for the rest of the game. It's all terrible. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's terrible. It's not over. He's still elves, so it's not over. Mm -hmm. In a genuine kind of way, not an not an Elliot kind of way, um, yeah. but obviously Dwarves is one of the games where it feels the most over, right? Because they've you've got first of all you've got no rerolls, but they've and they've got tackle on everybody, and mm -hmm. they've got sure hands, and they've got guard and all the kids. So it it feels the most over against Dwarves than anyone really, but it's Definitely. still it's still not over. Don't say it's over. Yeah, it's it's the the lack of rerolls wouldn't normally affect you as much, but given that these guys are all um, tackle, it, yeah, that's uh, the killer. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. What well, makes it easier for that guy to dodge away? I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think you save the wizard for the next drive, uh, Neuros. I think you can maybe stop him here, right? Because he's only got two turns left. So you can just stand in the way and hopefully stop him by standing in the way this half. And then, uh, oh, I think he was better stood where he was. So, yeah, I think he um, got a bit afraid that he was going to get smashed on. But you're going to get smashed on, man. You have to stop the, the touchdown. Yeah, just like directly in front. Like if he goes, like, you know, maybe he was too weak if he goes here because he gets 3D and the size doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, then you at least you're making him move laterally. What you don't yeah, want exactly. is him coming straight forward like this. So, yeah, I think this dance needed to be there. Just stand directly in front. Like even just a straight up screen, right? Like just a, just an elf screen directly in front. So at least if he's got to go around, he's got to, he's got to go around. Um, but, yeah, like I think you try and stop this half Legit, like you know, legitimately kind of thing, and then save the whiz for the second half to try and turn him over. Mm -hmm. Because if you use your whiz now, then you're going in nil nil probably with uh, 
with like no wizard and he's got a wizard and he's got the ball so like you know you're pretty much lost if even if you is massive gfi there mm. that one's not as massive but it would be nice to get him in there yeah he's got yeah. the rolls yeah oh and another one oh, 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 oh. And there's oh, an instant there one. There we go. Cool. What's oh, so, GFI? Uh, yeah, it is a GFI, but he, and he gets a nice 3D. Ooh, maybe it isn't, a, maybe it isn't oh. a GFI. So what he could do here is mm. he could blitz him, push him, and then power him and get him in. That that that's This is the best play. Will he do it? Mm. No. No. He's just going to three dice, mighty blow him. Which, to be fair, you know, you can argue that's better, right? Because... Casting a war dancer is really good, but it would have been really nice to have put to have pushed him to here and then chained the ball in so he didn't have to make that one in thirty six roll to score. Well this is this is nice because he can follow on the three die and get another three die there as well. Can't he? Oh no, that's not enough assist. No. So it's two dice. But two dice nevertheless. Yeah, you're still mighty blowing dancers, but it, I still yeah. think it's better to just, you know, get score. the chain. Oh, the, ch the chain, yeah, the chain. Yeah, yeah, the chain save this GFI. If this is a double one, mm -hmm. and then you don't win, mm -hmm. you could have just stopped it by uh, doing the churns. Boom. There you go. Singolo doesn't need your stinking move up. Nope. <laughs> SL was where. I mean, there wasn't many, but they could have stood directly in front of that one. I think that was a thing, right? You know, at least if you make mm -hmm. them go a little bit laterally, it just gets harder to protect the ball. Harder to yeah, do it. Oh my god, both kills failed. <laughs> so now, yeah, now saving the whiz for this half doesn't look that good, does it? With <laughs> six players. I mean, he's just going to try to plug it in as soon as possible, right? Oh no, it's not even his, it's not his drive. No, I mean, it's not his drive. It's it's horrendous. Yeah. Like, it's pretty pretty rough. Hmm. Jeez, I'd say Singolo's probably going to be going through the lads to see who might uh, benefit from a touchdown here. Yeah, that's a very good point. But really, he just wants to not get blitzed. Yes, just set up against a blitz. Mm -hmm. Is the number one. Oh, the uh, troll slayer. Yeah, the slayer is gonna have a hop off the tree, I think. Yeah, the slayer wants a kaz, and then the longbeard wants a kaz and a touchdown. Mm. Or maybe the rookie blitz. <laughs> pretty good <laughs> yeah. Nice setup. <laughs> yeah, fun gluten. Yeah, unfortunately, that knowledge I shouldn't have said it right because uh, oh, oh. Oh. because now that like. Almost rules out the possibility of overtime, right? Mm -hmm. Which is the only way Mankiz wins, but never mind. <laughs> Don't say it's over. Messi just scored. Unbelievable. So, yeah, still conscious of the strip ball and does decide to make sure that he puts it on the runner um, anyway. Oh, yeah, he's got to put it on the run while there's players. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's only going to hand off later, right? When, the, when there's absolutely mm -hmm. no threat. The last thing you want to do is uh, is fuck up and lose because you were you were dicking about when when they had players left. Goes at him with the uh, blitzer, so no tackle on that hit, but it does clear him out so that he can get this left hand strand firm in on top, and uh, this makes the the tree punches a lot more um, a lot better. Oosh. Pylon. <laughs> he does not on that. I know. It was a double one on the armor as well. Yeah. Oh, and he's rolled a one oh, on the ball. Lads. Oh, lads. And then doesn't get up. <laughs> and then he the rolls the one on the... Jeez. Concede? Christ. No re-rolls. Oh, man. That's rough. Oh, man. Oh, he's still going in. He rolled a push, I think. Oh, oh frenzy. Yeah. Hey, into a not dead. Ooh. Yeah, that was the elf half. They got instantly blitzed and lost the ball. And, you know, did well to like get back into it. I think the key kind of mistake, if you like, from Mankiz, which is very harsh to say, but was if he double GFI'd with that catcher and obviously might have just rolled a one, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think it's just too likely they get caught, right? It's too likely they just get the GFIs and, and power you. Like, it's too likely, it's way more likely than you rolling a one on the GFIs. Yeah. Big filthy 3D. And this lad's already picked up the level. Yeah, we're hey. Smashed. And there goes the uh, dancer. Yeah, Power Apple. Up. Yeah. I mean, it's just game over, right? Unless he keeps yes. that going again. 
Yes, it's probably game over at this point. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get this fellow. But he, mm. he can stay on TDM if he wants. He decides not to go forward and to take the three dice here. After filling the square to make sure the guard can't step in onto the ball. Yep. So all very, very professional. Yep. This poor string two lad getting picked on. <laughs> Yep. Did you going for a tree foul? I was thinking, is he going to foul? Yeah. Oh, he's going to foul the... Dancer. There we go. Yeah, that's fair enough. We've already got a cage yeah. around him. It's safe because he's yeah. stunned. And he just used his apple. Tree stays down. There's some shenanigans to be had. Whoop. In he goes. <laughs> Uphill. Gets him. Well, wow. Wow. Oh. oh, for God's sake. Onto a long beard, man. When it rains, it pours. God. There would have been a shot there, right? Scatter yeah. to here to here yeah. to here. And then three plus pick it up, lob it in. Like, they actually yeah. could have just scored then. Well, yes. he would have got bolted, but he could have, uh, yeah. could have got the ball and run away. Mm-hmm. The tree staying down is pretty massive as well, isn't it? Yep. Oh, it's Jimmy G look. For the champ. Yeah, the champ. He's already got his extra level. Because he, he wants to... Well, he's, if he's going to be playing Cyberlight next, he wants Iron Heart skin, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to work out. I think you just stay back, right, and get the foul on the dancer, or like, even here. Yep. Just yeah. foul the dancer because if you go forward, move four, the tree can become relevant if he's lucky. That's it. You can get stripped here, right? except it strips back there. Oh, he's just going to hand off. Oh, he's, he's handing it off, right? Okay. I guess he is much four, isn't he? Yeah. And the strip is obviously an issue. No, I mean, not if you kick his head in, but yeah. No. no. <laughs> yeah, with it being a two, I guess you just hand off. Mm hmm. Just a stun. Well, yeah. I mean, the rackle is a good uphill. Like that's the thing is, it's not, it is, it's not yeah. the strip, is it? But the rackle is. Uh... Oh, for God's sake! These twos, like. Oh, oh no! He did. He, he did. He threed as well, though. Double. Oh right, yeah, yeah. It was, he was a three plus. Yeah. Was okay. So now he can now he can go up in total safety. Because he had to get the extra square so that he could leap in properly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you can fuck off and foul here. He's just gone straight for the foul nice and early. I suppose he's got all the time in the world and he's 1-0 up. He's got a bribe, hasn't he, I think? Yeah, he does have a bribe as well. Well. So you could foul then like then move, right? Which mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you couldn't. Yeah. Might be the handout to the blitz here, but I, I don't think so. Not not yet. Not yet, no. no. Wait till he's got no players left. <laughs> Well, this was a bit of a damn squib of a game, wasn't it? It was a bit. A little bit. A little don't bit. Say it's over for most of the game, but um, mm -hmm. like it really wasn't over just because elves are so good. But yeah, dwarves are a good counter, aren't they? Especially when they roll a blitz and get all of the men in contact and get the ball. Yeah, yeah. Turns <laughs> when they out get, when they get two offensive drives. And first was 11 L's as well. Like, it was critical getting that in the first half. And in that early attrition, three yeah. cars in the first half, just huge. They had so many games against L's where, like, you don't get the attrition till late, and then it's already mm. too late then, isn't it? That's right. And not only just the three cars, but also the two uh, failure to wake up. Yeah, so essentially um, five cars, yeah. Yeah, limiting them to only one KO roll by having scored uh, on his offensive drive. Just massive. Mm. Like, it's not as if Mankiz has done much wrong, right? No, no. No, as I was saying, the only thing that you can vaguely call a mistake was the not well, double the GFing after the after sure feet was gone. And, like, that's totally mm -hmm. forgivable. Like, yep. I don't think anybody would really would really say that, like, you know, it was a mistake or anything. No. But, I, you know, I do think, I do think that uh, the odds of getting power were way worse than if he'd just... Maybe not yeah. even way worse, right? Because he's about 70% to make both GFIs. So he's not that likely to make both oh. GFIs. 
Well, Singala's making it tough on himself with all of these uh, skulls, but I mean, he's got all the rerolls in the world, so it doesn't actually matter. Mm. And doesn't pile on because it gets a KO, and that's all he needed. Yeah, and he's going to be pretty confident that it won't be over time, so. Yeah, exactly. There's, 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 not, there's only one drive happening in this game, so the KO is exactly what he wanted. Well, exactly what he needed. Seven and a half off the tree now. Jesus, things are going pretty well when you're getting the hops off the tree. Oh my god! Flip well! Me. Well! There you go, yeah. That's, that's it. That's that taken care of. So he's got this last uh, last chance grasp. Run in here and see if he can get him on the uphills. Needs to put the reroll in. Gets him with the wrestle. Down he goes. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, that's, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's gone for the scatter. Lovely little uphill. Where's it gone? Oh, oh, another pop at the cherry. Oh, and it's out, Jim. Ooh. Lads. It's in. It's on the fly, because there's I no rerolls, yeah, but this is no, really close. Uh, four plus, two plus. Oh. Oh, oh, come on. Tackle everywhere. <laughs> like, that was so close, wasn't it? That was right. like two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight. And then lob there, and it was four pretty plus, much all yeah. over. Four two four, two, wow. and uh, and yeah, that's that. Mm. All of a sudden, I mean, he still got the lightning bolt and stuff. So. Flip me. Yeah. This is a lot of three D going into this fella. Let's do that again. Okay. <laughs> Let's let's do this again. <laughs> there we go. I know. Yeah, so I, 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 that so, strength two lads just been absolutely indestructible. He's he been, has, yeah. He's yeah. been strength bus since the very first game of Chalice and has just survived everything. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so two GFIs and a, and a, and a two DB is sixty-eight and a half percent knock you down. Whereas obviously, like two GFIs is thirty percent. But if he has to double GFI, then it's only one GFI to cancel that. So that was yeah. definitely, definitely the player. I mean, these are minuscule things, and yeah. I mean, not that minuscule. It's a pretty big difference, right? Sixty-nine percent fall over or thirty percent fall over, and it's not even that thirteen. Sure, Seventeen percent sure. fall over if it's one. Yeah. So it yes. just it's just one of those things that like lots of people would do the same, just because mm -hmm. instinctively you don't want to make those GFIs. Like you know, look at yeah, Dadle screaming for like half an hour about one <laughs> in the other game, right? Like because you don't want to make yeah. those because it's just so it just feels so terrible when you roll the dice and you fail because they roll the dice and all these things about the game are like oh roll as few dice as possible and all this kind of sure. thing. But sure. absolutely, if it's just the odds, isn't it? All it is is the odds. And and that was one of those where, mm -hmm. he, he, as much as everyone who plays Blood Bowl would hate to make those two GFIs without Ooh. the reroll, you just you just kind of have to do it. You just gotta yeah put on the old big boy pants. Mm. Oh, trying to get the trying to get the trolls layer in range. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Oh, diced. Yeah. And now, now he can't even hand off to him to go to to the pass. No. Hey, oh, for God's sake! <laughs> he just took like fucking nine dice and a pile on. <laughs> yeah, and he can <laughs> and, and he just and, and then just falls over. <laughs> just let him dodge and roll a one. That's the yeah. easiest way. <laughs> no SPP though, for fuck's sake. Is the troll series two off? Is he? Yeah, two one off. off. Yeah. One off. Oh. But he he didn't get in range for it. Nah, it doesn't get it. Oh, and he catches oh, it wow. so he could have scored, but he didn't even try. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, there we go. Yeah. Zero armor breaks. <laughs> First 18. Yeah. Unless you count his own on failed dodges. That's right. And uh, six KOs, four Kaz. Of only, of only 41 blocks. That isn't that many, is it? That isn't no, that many blocks. No, to be blocks. fair. Well, they, um, they mostly just went out on the first try. Yeah, well, that was the thing. There was a lot of blocks in the first half. That was the thing, wasn't yeah. it? Just all the blocks in the first half, half were just brutal because he just got based up on his offense, yeah. and it was it was horrible. Grass. His dodges were crap. 
seven mighty blood dwarves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the grass the grass was absolutely brutal. And it's often like that, right? And it, it, that's another one of those things where, like, you know, you make the dodge and you're like, oh, what an idiot. You know, like, as soon as you do it, like, it's a one. And then, like, or you roll the dodge and it's a one, you re-roll it, and then the, the fail doesn't hurt you that much, and you're like, why did I even re-roll it? Yeah, you know, right, like, right. and it's... Yeah. It's just there's a lot of there's a lot of margins like that with elves that just feel can feel really bad and you can feel like you did the wrong thing even if you didn't. Um, but no, I don't. I think Mankis did nothing wrong apart from you know obviously maybe set up against the Blitz better like wider because the wider one was always going to be more impactful. Like that was that was the worst spot. But it was literally the worst spot. But that's yeah. why you have to protect against that worst spot, right? Like you need For to protect sure. against that worst spot. Like if it's a deep kick Blitz, it's, it's nowhere near as bad. So exactly. so you've kind of like against dwarves anyway. So like. You know, against Skaven, yeah, the deep kick, the deep blitz is bad as well. So I guess he could have, I guess he could have set up better against the blitz, and he could have made those GFIs. But I mean, the dice is exactly a single. So it's like you know, is it the way it went? Even if he'd done those marginally better things, I don't think it would have mattered much because it was just a comedy mega, wasn't it? <laughs> That's Blood Bowl. But well done, Singolo, on a really well played. I mean, it was a comprehensive win. Yeah, Singolo didn't do anything wrong at all, did he? So exactly, yeah, like, yeah. Like, that's it. You know, it's one of those things where, like, you know, Rick played great in that in that game where against Tempest Soul, and, that's and right. like, you know, you, you got to see he played great because you know he was up against it and he was having to do like the bold plays and everything, whereas Singolo had everything go for him, so all he had to do was do everything right and and don't let it slip. And, that's and right. he but didn't he let did it do slip. everything right and didn't let it slip and yeah. kept his kept his focus. So well done. Yeah, and uh, so there you go. That is that is that. Thank you very much, Kale. It's been lovely having you on. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Oh, lovely fella. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>